Shops in several Iranian cities have shut their doors in solidarity with anti-regime protests. Mobile footage shows rows of closed storefronts across the country after protesters called for a three-day nationwide strike. Iran has been rocked by more than two months of demonstrations since the death of a young woman in the custody of the so-called morality police. Meanwhile, dozens of Iranian doctors have signed an open letter warning about the growing number of patients they're treating with serious eye injuries, including complete blindness after being shot. To counter the ongoing demonstration, security forces have been firing live ammunition into the crowds. According to 140 eye doctors, some protesters have been hit by birdshot and paintball bullets, leaving many of them completely blind. Kaivan Mirhadi is an Iranian-American doctor. He is chief of internal medicine at the Clifton Springs Hospital in New York. He supports injured Iranian protesters from there, especially via Instagram, where hundreds of people reach out to him every day. Dr. Mirhadi, thank you so much for coming on to DW today. You've got one million follows, followers on Instagram. When injured protesters um, reach out to you, uh, what do they tell you and how can you help them? Um, first of all, thanks for having me. Um, so they send me a message on my Instagram account and um, it, it comes in waves, you know, when there are protests going on. Like, for example, today, uh, I will get several messages and when it's not as busy, I don't get that many. And they will give me pictures of their injuries. Um, I triage them. And if it's something minor, I try to treat over Instagram. If it's something serious, I have friends who are doctors in Iran and I try to link them together. What are the most frequent injuries you've been seeing? Um, most frequent would be pellet shots, um, anywhere from a few in, uh, wounds to multiple small pellet, pellet shots, over 100, over 200 I've seen, um, injuries to their uh, eyes and extremities. And just from confrontation, there's fractures and sometimes second and third degree burns that are very serious from electrical batons. Mm -hmm. uh, what can happen to injured protesters if they don't turn to you, if they seek help at Iranian hospitals or medical facilities? Unfortunately, there's a heavy presence of authorities at the hospital settings, um, and there's no such thing as pa patient privacy. So when they present there, they either have to hide their injuries so they do not get spotted in the waiting room or in the emergency room, um, Although it's very difficult because they do go through patient charts and they try to find the injured protesters to, to arrest them. So a lot of them get arrested and they're taken to detention centers. Uh, we've also seen footage of ambulances picking up injured protesters and taking them right to the detention centers and prisons. What are you hearing from fellow doctors in Iran? Are they being pressured to turn people who they think participated in the protests in? Are they facing problems treating them? Yeah, in general, um, it's an unwritten rule that if you treat someone uh, who has participated in the protest, uh, you are as guilty as them, even though it's just a doctor's responsibility to treat anybody who needs help. Um, many of the doctors have been arrested. There's news about uh, a husband and wife that they're both doctors and they, they are being trialed for death row because they were helping the injured protesters. So. In general, they're very scared of doing so, but they're very brave, and many of them continue to treat these individuals. What's your message to the young protesters back home and also, you know, your fellow doctors there standing up to the regime and, and not bowing to the pressure they're experiencing? I think it's clear that, you know, this, in this movement, we all have one voice and we all want the same thing, which is essentially freedom, to pick and choose how we want to live our lives. Um, so I encourage that and I uh, hope they continue um, to fight for what they, they're seeking. And us Iranians who, who do not live in Iran, we live outside, we're 100% behind them and supporting them. Mm -hmm. And you're doing what you can to support them. Thank you so much, Dr. Kaivan Mirhadi in New York. Thank you so much.